AWS has announced advanced targeting capabilities for AWS app config feature flag. You can now set up multiple values for a feature flag. This is very powerful if you want to launch a new or premium feature targeting to a specific user segment or split traffic to a small percentage of your user base for early feedback before full blown rollout to all users. Let's quickly check this feature in action. In AWS Systems Manager under Application Management, click App Config, then click Get Started. So select Feature Flag, provide configuration profile name, optionally provide description, click Next. Enter the flag name, awesome feature, flag key, awesome minus feature, and flag key has to be unique under configuration profile. Optionally provide feature description. You can choose this feature as short term flag, and here you can provide the deprecation date. And once it will be deprecated, it will not remove the feature, it will basically mark the feature as deprecated. And under feature flag attributes, you can define multiple attributes or properties associated with the feature. Enable feature flag value. Click next. Scroll down a little bit. Provide application name. Demo application. This is kind of namespace to organize unique set of environments and configuration under this namespace. Save and continue to deploy. Let's create a new environment under this application. Environment is basically a logical deployment group and set of monitors. Provide one name, demo environment. Optionally provide description. Click create environment. Select deployment strategy, app config all at once. This is the quick one. Click start deployment. State is deploying and bake time is 10 minutes. So it will take some time to be ready to use. To retrieve app config feature flag, you can use API using AWS SDK, mainly start configuration session to retrieve a deployed configuration and get latest configuration to retrieve the latest deployed configuration. But AWS app config agent is recommended so that you can get some out of the box cool features which we'll discuss later. So what is this AWS app config agent? So this agent sits between your application and app config. Your application make local HTTP call to this agent. And this agent first check the local cache. If that configuration is not available, it make API call to AWS app config. It retrieves the configuration, put that in cache, and return that configuration to your application. This agent also asynchronously pulls app config service at pre-configured intervals to keep your cache up to date. At this moment, AWS Lambda, EKS, ECS, and on-prem machines are supported computes. In this demo, we are going to use AWS Lambda. For AWS Lambda, we need to configure AWS App Config Agent Lambda extension as Lambda layer, which will sit between your Lambda application and AWS App Config. And it will also configure one local cache, which is isolated in that particular instance. AWS Lambda will make local HTTP call to the agent. Agent will check the cache. If it is not there, it will make API call to AWS App Config and it will update the cache and return that configuration. Based on configured polling interval, it will poll AWS app config and keep the cache data up to date. One important point to note that you cannot create variants of a new feature flag when you create a new configuration profile. You must complete the workflow of creating the new configuration profile first. So that's the reason we are waiting for this to complete. Now it is completed. Let's go back to demo application, click the feature flag and then scroll down select the flag here you can see option basic flag and multivariant flag so this is the new one let's select this one you can check this box to mark it as short term you can add additional attributes here here you will get option to create different variants let's create variant provide variant name select enable value here we'll get option to use rule builder or editor to define the rule and also few blueprints. Select split beta tester only traffic. Click load. 
this rule is targeting user segment uh, which is beta tester and it is going to split the traffic by 5% of overall user IDs. Let's choose the simplest one allow list by user ID. Click load. So here we can define list of user ID which will be allowed. So for example user ID AWS Junkie. Click apply. Let's switch up that default one. And you may have multiple variant here. So the variant order is used for evaluation logic. For example, for premium, if this rule is evaluated as true, then premium variant will be returned. If no rules match, then AWS config will return the default variant. Click apply. Save a new version. Yes, I understand. Start deployment. Select deployment strategy all at once. Click start deployment. Deployment status is deploying and the baking time is 10 minutes. So it will take time to get ready. In the meantime, let me quickly explain the multivariate feature flag concepts and use cases. So this is feature flag and you can define multiple variants of that flag. And you need to define one variant rule, which is basically user defined expression that will be used to select a particular feature flag variant. Then default variant. So when no feature flag variant will be selected by the rules, then this will be returned. And most importantly, the context, which is user defined keys and values passed to AWS config at configuration retrieval time. For example, group user ID that we show in rule blueprints. In the interest of time, I went ahead and created this feature flag variant demo AWS Lambda function, which will make local HTTP call to the agent to retrieve awesome feature flag. We need to go back to AWS app config and grab application name, environment ID, and profile configuration ID and replace those value here. Let me quickly do that. So URL is ready, but as we discussed, we need to configure AWS app config agent Lambda extension as Lambda layer. So scroll down and in the layers, create add layer and select AWS app config extension. Big version and it is showing 112, which is older version. To find the correct version based on your AWS region, go to user guide, scroll down. 2.0.678 is the version where enhancement to support feature flag targets has been added. So let's scroll down. I am in OIO region. So 126 is the version that I should use. Let's go back to Lambda layer. Type 126, uh, but for some region it is not searching. So let's select 112 and save. Go back, edit, and now search 126. Now it is coming. Most likely this is bug. So let's save. We can see it is showing 126. Now the last step before we can execute that Lambda function need to provide necessary permission so that Lambda can interact with app config service. So let's click the role. Add permissions, create inline policy, search app config. Here search session, select start configuration session and get latest configuration you can make it specific but for this demo let's choose all click next provide a policy name click create policy let's go back to lambda and refresh and we can see two new permission let's go back to code now we are ready to fetch our awesome feature flag. 
and this is the context that we want to provide so that it will only allow AWS Junkie. If we provide any other user ID, then default feature flag variant will be returned, which is turned off here. Let's deploy, click test. And we can see it has returned premium feature variant, which is enabled. So now change the user ID, click deploy, click test. And now we can see it has returned default variant and it is not enabled. In the log, you can see app config agent retrieved initial data for the flag and it took 89 millisecond and it is serving at 2772 port and the Lambda extension version is 679. Click test again. And we can see there is no retrieval from app config, so it is returning from the cache. Let's quickly check how we can configure Lambda extension through environment variables. So these are the predefined variables uh, which has some default value. We can change port, we can change log level. So let's change the log level to debug. Configuration, environment variables, edit, add environment variables, debug, save. Polling interval is 45 seconds by default. Let's change it to something smaller. And environment variable. For this demo, let's set three seconds. Click save. Similarly, you can configure all these environment variables based on your use case. For example, extension prefetch list, which is useful. If you want to prefetch all this configuration before the function initialize or handles the request. So let's go back test and we can see app config agent retrieved initial data in 161 second let's hit test once again this time there is no info log that says retrieval initial data but we can see two new debug log one says return local data for 460 nanosecond and verified latest data which is 80 millisecond this is nothing but asynchronous refresh based on our polling intervals. Let's quickly hit test button few times before our polling intervals three seconds. And now we can see return local data only. There is no refresh. That's it for today's update. Use this awesome feature for your awesome product development. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, happily float on the cloud.